I think I'm going to be in trouble. This is a second station so far. Hey everyone, this is Tim. I hope you're doing well. I'm looking a little bit tired and that's because I am. Uh, long days of work, uh, 18, 20 hour days, but uh, really grateful to have such a great team. And also really grateful because now I get to take a little bit of a break. And since uh, a little bit of respite is uh, in freshest demand, I wanna really take the best, really wanna make the best out of it. So I think we're gonna visit a nice restaurant. It's gonna be a buffet. And get this, it's gonna be in the Philippines. So I can't wait for that. Thank you so much for joining and I can't wait to have a nice meal together. But first, we're gonna have to get there and that's half the fun. Come on, let's go. So just a short layover in Hong Kong, in the Hong Kong airport. They still have the masking policy on, but uh, we have a little bit of time and let's see what there is to eat. Come on, let's, uh, let's take a look around. It's a shame that all the food court is closed, but uh, I think I see something up ahead right over there. Coffee and snacks, not a bad choice. As good as the coffee sounds right now, I think I see something better up ahead, <laughs> egg tarts. See what they have. So a huge pineapple bun with butter and some Portuguese cheese tarts, some soy milk, some iced coffee. Yeah, and this one here. Okay, okay, bye bye. Thank you. So I didn't get a chance to try the pineapple bun, but the egg tart is ready, and I don't think the egg tart will wait. Oh piping hot and it just crumbles right fresh out of the oven. Oh, barely holds together. Oh, let's give it a try. Cheers. Mm. Very nice. That custard barely has enough structure to hold it together and it just melts right in your mouth. Mm. Not so easy to finish. Nice and warm. All of a sudden, with all the energy expended on the travels, that egg tart replenishes all the energy expended. Cheers. Mm. Oh. Cheers. Mm much needed a flask of coffee that was hot let's try the pineapple bun finally all right and here we go nice soft cloudy fluffy bun and a massive chunk of butter here mm. very nice bun is nice and soft and this massive thick slice of butter right in the middle extra flavor extra creamy Mm. So, I think the flight's about to leave, so I'm going to finish all this, and uh, we'll catch you in the Philippines. See you then. So I certainly didn't expect this. Breakfast number two, and it looks pretty good. It's coffee in a flask, some noodles, and a little bit of kanji. Always nice to have a little bit of food on the plane. Let's give it a try. The chicken, a little bit of mushroom. Mm. Not bad, very comforting, nice and warm. Just what's needed. And a little messy. Let's try the noodles.
nothing wrong with some warm noodles and a warm porridge and congee. And with that, I think I'm going to enjoy the flight and see you in Manila. Cheers. This is Manila at night, and it is impressive. My first night here. Thank you so much for joining, and after really, really long hours of work, it's nice to have some free time, and what a way to spend the free time. This is not my first time in Manila. I used to work here many years ago and made really great friends here, and I can't wait to meet up with them. Uh, but tonight, it's just you and I, and we are here at the Okada Manila Casino, and there's a real spectacular buffet called the Medley Buffet, and I've actually came here before, and there's some significance to this. Many years ago, when I was a lot younger and less round, uh, I came here with some friends to the Okada Manila Medley Buffet, and this was when they were just opening up, and that was really cool. Lots of good food, lots of great friends, and the buffet was so spectacular back then, I decided to take a video, make a video to make my good friend Albert jealous, uh, and I posted it on YouTube just so he can watch and uh, really grateful that other people have watched as well. So uh, I kind of continued on, but really grateful to be here back again. And uh, I can see it's getting pretty busy. Thank you so much again for joining. I hope you're hungry. I think I am. So without further ado, uh, we're just gonna head in and uh, enjoy a great buffet together. Come on, let's go. Security check first, it's okay. Here we go. Oops. Oh. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you, sir. All right, security check done. Uh, let's go check it out. Whoa. This is so impressive here. And uh, other people are doing the same thing, taking photos. But let me show you the room here. It is grand. And you have the casino and the grand ceilings. It's really hard to describe how high the ceilings are and how spectacular it is. So you're just gonna have to check it out for yourself. But uh, without further ado, I think we're gonna bypass the casino and head straight for the Metli Buffet. And I see it right up ahead over there. So this certainly brings back memories. I remember when I was here years ago, it was hardly open. It was just when they were doing a soft opening and it was grand back then. I can't wait to see how it is now. And look, there's a line. And of course, I always like to come to a buffet when it just opens, when it's nice and fresh and everything's pristine. And we just have to wait a little bit, hopefully not too long. Hi, Reina, how are you? Oh, this looks spectacular. All right, thank you. Wow. Oh, beautiful. First day here. Oh, yeah. In the Philippines. Oh, is it Christmas already? Yeah. Okay. Every day, every day. This is beautiful. Thank you so much. So nice to be back and a wonderful table from Reina. Uh, and let me show you the room here again. It, there's not too many people here. It's uh, right at the start of the buffet, but I think that's going to fill up. And again, first one's here, but we're seeing people trickle in. And soon there will be a tsunami of people coming in. And I can't wait to get started. But I think I see a drink coming. Thank you so much. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Will do. And thank you, John. And I can't wait to give this a try. I think this is the Okada Politan. Let's see. Oh, long reach. All right. And I like it because it's uh, all the way to the top. Cheers to you. Oh, that's so refreshing. Nice and light and almost dangerously easy to drink. Very refreshing and a nice uh, sugary rim. One more sip. Hmm. And with that, I think let's head over to the buffet. Let's go. So let me show you the stations here. And it goes all the way down the room. But first, I see really nice seafood here.
And I think that's a perfect place to start. Let's see. So we have some clams and some wonderful orange shrimp, nice and fresh. Shrimp number one. Let's make that a pair. Some mussels. Oh, and look at that, some uh, chilled crab. Let's go for one of these. I'm not gonna go crazy on the chilled food station because there are so many more. Let me just show you further, because down there we have the hardworking folks on the sashimi station and the sushis. And further down, hey, how are you? I'm good, sir. Oh, this looks amazing. What do you have? We uh, have maki. Oh, makis and uh, rolls. And Manuel pointed me to the fresh sashimi and seared sashimi as well. This looks so good. Thank you so much. Enjoy your bar. Thank you. Thank you. A little bit of uh, tuna. And these are the seared next to the shrimp. Oh, and we gotta go for the salmon. Looks so fresh. Let's grab a couple. First station and the plate's already getting full. So many rolls and sushi and maki. Manuel and team are uh, sure hard at work. Oh, look at these mussels. I'm gonna go easy on the sushi, but uh, let's see. Oh, these are the salads I like. Seafood salad. So we've got some snapper, medley of seafood and spicy tuna. A little bit of spice is nice. And this is just one of many stations. A wonderful station. Look at this crispy tempura and it's aptly named. This is the tempura station, but there's so many more. This is a good vantage point to see all the different foods here. So over there, you can see the salad station, which we'll uh, kind of peruse in a little bit. But down there, you can see all the hot food, uh, the carvery, the uh, Peking duck, the dim sum, and lots of Southeast Asian goodness. But for now, the tempura comes first. Oh, and you're doing this fresh. Hi. It's hot. <laughs> it is. Oh my goodness. May I get one? Come in, sir. Oh. Four? Five? Oh, <laughs> maybe. Five, no way. Oh, well, you're very kind. <laughs> Ivan, thank you so much. No problem. I think I'm going to be in trouble. This is a second station so far. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, this is the tempura sauce? Yes, sir. People are so kind here, and there's more. Okay. So a bit of fish tempura. Okay, I'm gonna go for one next to Ivan's uh, half dozen. These are veggie tempura, something very healthy for you. You got your veggies right here, a plate of yellow. Wonderful medley of hot food here. And I think they chose the name medley for a reason. And normally I stay away from the salad, but uh, this looks so appetizing. Hey Gav, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Thank you all about teachers. Oh, fantastic. And normally I stay away from the salad, but you make it look so appetizing. I guess you want Caesar salad. Can I get a little Caesar salad? Thank you. Gav, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Enjoy. Enjoy your stay. All right, will do. Thank you. Oh my goodness, and there's more. This is my favorite salad station because look at all the seafood here. Smoked salmon. Oh, what is this one? Uh, smoked tanike. Tanike. Oh, I'm going to give that a try. This one is good with dill sauce and then lemon. Oh, this one. And Gav, you recommend this one here? Yes. The salmon gravlocks? Yes. A little bit of dill. A uh, little bit of dill sauce and then lemon. Number one. And number two, a little bit of dill sauce right here. Thank you so much, Gra. All right, thank you. That's just a little bit, and let's see what else. Beautiful cheeses. Let's see what we have. Some Gruyere, some red wine cheese. Ooh, blue cheese, maybe. Just a little bit of that, wow. All right, I can smell the wonderful aromas of the blue cheese. And what goes better with blue cheese? A little bit of walnuts, a little bit of figs, some copa ham, speck, and salami. 
And behind the cured meats, we see little plates of goodness, some Parmesan flan, a cheese flan. And with all these cheese, I think we need to balance it out. Pork terrine. And this plate is becoming wonderfully unstable. So I haven't even gone through the stations. Uh, the salad station took up all the time. And I think I'm going to start off small because there's still so many things to eat. There's the hot food items, the noodle stations, that wonderful barbecue area, all the Asian delights, and lechon, of course. I can't wait to take you back for those, but let me show you what we have. The crab, that wonderful tempura, the salad from Gav, additional salad station items. But I think we need to start off with the tempura first. I don't think it waits for you. It's nice and fresh. I think I'm just going to use my hands. Oh, and these are hot. A little bit of sauce. Oh. Nice and crispy and succulent shrimp on the inside. Mmm. Wonderful crunch. Mmm. And I can't wait to try a little bit of the veggies. Here we go. Into the tempura sauce. Mmm. Nice and crispy. Great way to have your veggies. And after the veggies, try the sashimi. So we've got the tuna sashimi, the seared tuna, and I can't wait to try a little bit of the salmon sashimi, a little bit of soy. Mm. Nice and fresh. Back in Vancouver, we have our local sockeye salmon. Not sure what type of salmon this is, but nice sweetness of the ocean. Mm. Very nice. And speaking of salmon, I think this is uh, Gav's favorite. Got to give this a try. Mm. Very flavorful, wonderfully cured. And she was right. That dill sauce makes all the difference. Mm. What a wonderful salad station. And I think there's more to come. The Parmesan plan. Mm. Very subtle. But let's go for something more bold and that little shot glass of cheese something. There's only one way to find out and this was causing me so much worry because it was so unstable. Oh, it's like a custard or a sauce. I think you're supposed to drink it. Straight up. Mm. This is the most wonderful cheesy substance I've ever had. Lots of cheese flavor, but mild also and not too salty. Very nice and actually refreshing for a cheese concoction of some sort. Mm. I know I'm not describing it adequately, but refreshing cheesy goodness. Got to give this a try. But I think that pork terrine is looking really good. Let's dig in. Wonderful. Oh, a rich pork terrine and it's balanced out with some uh, cubes of melon. And I think I hear someone crying in the background and I think those are cries of joy. Mm. Very nice. So I think I'm going to finish first round here and we'll take it back for round two and three and four. It's going to be a wonderful evening. Mm. So relatively short work for the first round. Those shrimp were ginormous and plump and succulent. Really good just on their own. And the salad from Gav, absolutely amazing. One of the best salad stations I've had. And I thought I was in trouble when Ivan poured on those shrimp tempura, but they were so easy to finish one after the other. So I think with this, uh, we have enough energy for round two and round three. Uh, let's go. All right. And it's certainly getting busy. And now for some warm, comforting, hot food. So let's see what we have here. A little bit of Japanese flavor, some beef. And this is, uh, and this is pork. Wonderful fish. I think this is tenigi. Never had this before. Can't wait to try it. And of course, the chicken teppanyaki. Oh my goodness. And this looks like a wonderful ramen station. 
I know I shouldn't fill up on noodles, but I don't think I can resist. Hey, Chef Edwin. Welcome to the Trinity. Oh, love it here. And uh, I think uh, I can't say no to a nice uh, bowl of noodles. Can I get some noodles? Yes, sir. So it's really cool. So they're going to make the noodles and they're going to deliver it to the table. And let's carry on. Oh, some fresh pizza. Okay, that looks wonderful. Let's go for a little bit of cheese. Easier said than done. There we go. And this is a wonderful shawarma station. A bit of beef shawarma. And look at this paella. Oh my goodness. Piping hot. Just a little bit of rice and a little bit of crust. And those are the best looking potatoes au gratin. I've seen nice and gratin. Wow. Okay, and these look really good. A little bit of short rib with a nice fat cap. Oh, very nice. Spaghetti and clams and some nice roast beef. And they have a wonderful fatty cut. Now, as much as I like the fat, that's a little bit too much for me. Why don't we go for a nice even distribution? And I'm running out of room. Nudge this over. Oh, nice and succulent with a Yorkshire pudding right over here. So this wonderful looking soup here is a smoked salmon velouté. And for the folks over in Australia, this is not a white chocolate velouté. It's a smoked salmon velouté. I think uh, those master chef watchers will know what I mean. But let's give this a try. Oh my goodness. Some mesquite, wonderful street corn. Oh, salmon, looking really good. And these are chicken wings. I'm gonna skip those. And uh, while as comforting as a beef stew is, I think there's many more exciting options to choose from and let's find out. This is yet another noodle station. Oh my goodness. As much as I love these noodles, I think with that bowl of ramen sitting at the table, I think uh, I just have to skip, but oh my goodness, they have laksa. I think I might, uh, I think I might need to reconsider. Hey, Chef John, how are you? Oh, oh, you know what? I think I got some ramen, but I can't say no to a laksa. Oh. Can I get a laksa, please? Oh, sir, uh, what table? oh, the table in the corner, the round table. Oh, sir, uh, I will, uh, All right, thank you so much. So I'm really enjoying this. Uh, you can walk around and peruse all you want and they bring the food to you fresh. And oh, look at this. So nice barbecue, roasted pork and chicken. And here they are all cut up. So a little bit of chicken, a little bit of pork. And normally I'd say no, but this has a nice uh, fat ratio and then some roasted pork. I'm gonna go easy on this because I know they must have lechon. A little bit here and a wonderful tandoor with all the grilled meats. So while those are cooling, uh, we have them here all ready for you. Some nice raita and uh, some sabji and wonderful corn, I think. And oh, I think this is veg station, some veg biryani. And this is not veg. This is lamb Rogan Josh, my favorite. Let's go for, oh my goodness, look at that curry. A little bit of that. I think that one has a little bit of fat on there. Oh, and a medley of flavors. The chicken, the fish, and the lamb kebab. And I think I'm going to go light because I know there's stuff waiting for me. Let's go for some uh, fried goodness. Alu tiki. Tiki number one. And tiki number two with a curry leaf. And what's under here, I think we have some roti. Oh, some naan. Perfect with the rogan jaw. Beautiful. Oh, maybe just one more. That's it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Always nice to come back to your table and find more and more dishes. The ramen and the Singapore laksa are here. So many to choose from. It's really hard to figure out which one to start first. 
but I think the ramen has been waiting the longest. That doesn't wait. Let's give that a try. Oh boy. Oh, look at this. Nice and steaming hot. A little bit of uh, chashio, a bit of pork. Let's give this a try. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Nice and hot. Noodles have a nice texture. Broth is nice and rich. It's a little bit here and a little bit of the pork. Mm. I can't wait to try the Singapore laksa. Got that right here. Mm. Mm. Okay. Oh, wonderful noodles. Let's give this a try. Mm. A little bit messy, but this is such a good laksa. And that broth is rich and creamy, coconutty, with such a depth of flavor. A little bit of pork. Mm. Very good, but very messy and painful. And I can't wait to try that prime rib with a little bit of peppercorn sauce. Oh, this is a butter knife. And to be honest, I really don't need that butter knife. It just cuts. And in fact, I think I can even cut this with a spoon, Filipino style. Give that a try. Mm. Beef is nice and tender with just a right amount of meat to fat ratio, nice and caramelized. Mm. Very nice. A little bit of the paella. Oh. And maybe a little bit knock you around there. A little bit of the potatoes as well. Oh, nice and cheesy. Give that a try. Mm. Very good and very messy. Hard to get a hold of. But that lamb Rogan Josh is looking pretty good. All right. I'm going to cut it with a spoon. Oh, just falls apart and shreds. A little bit of naan. I shouldn't have waited so long to get it nice and fresh. You know, sometimes. When you're filming, it's nice to get everything together. Let's give that a try. And a little bit, a little bit of raita. There we go. Mm. So comforting. The lamb is actually very lean, but very tender. And that gravy is just packed full of flavor, lots of depth. And the raita nicely cuts it. Mm. Very nice. And those aloo tikkis can go perfectly well with the salmon velute. So, I'm just gonna grab one of these, a little bit of a dunk. Mm. Oh, very nice. Nice salmon flavor and a nice crunch with the potato tiki and a another bit of a dip. Mm. So round two is a little bit more than round one. I don't think I have a problem finishing it up. And uh, we'll take you back to round three and four and all that great Asian uh, station and the dim sum. Take it back. So it's certainly getting busy here and uh, lots of people celebrating. Really nice to see. And finally, our last station, but it's a big one. Let's take a look here and wonderful smoke. Um, lots of things being grilled. And I think we have some Java fried rice. Go for a little bit of this. 
So this is chicken braised in, uh, I think, a soy stew. All right, grilled pork belly. Can't say no to this. I think this is a Korean station here because we see some pancakes, crispy fish, okay, some healthy veggies, uh, chicken, bean curd. This is definitely not my favorite. This is uh, chicken or pork with, uh, this is a uh, bitter melon. Hi. Oh, what is that? Is it the famous chicken feet? Let's go for a little bit of that. Do we just take the whole thing or? Oh, oh, I don't need the, the whole thing. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Oh, that's heavy. A little bit more than I thought, but let's see what else they have. Going down in here. Okay, the barbecue pork buns. Oh my goodness. I think these are, not sure what they are, but they look interesting. And let's see. Oh, spare ribs, really nice. Okay, so these are bean curd rolls, one of my favorites, and I, sorry, I steamed you up there. Let's see. Okay, some dumplings. Okay, shell mai. And then the chicken feet. I think you can just take one or two, not the whole plate, but that's okay. Pork shell mai. Pork shell mai. Oh, thank you. All right, well, I can't wait. I'll, oh, sorry about that. I need to eat Okay. Oh, the whole plate. Wow. So it looks like you're supposed to take the whole plate of chicken feet. So uh, don't feel too bad there. Oh, you got to go for that shell mai. And number two, right beside. Yes, a stew with crab. Give this a try. Just a little bit of crab. And what type of Filipino Buffet would be complete without some pan seat next to the rice. And there's more, and I think this is Korean now, or maybe not, and uh, apologies if I have the different cuisines uh, confused. And I know it's definitely not because that over there uh, looks a little bit interesting. I've had this before. I think if I know what it is. Uh, this I am definitely going to skip. And I see people have been going for the lechon. Uh, I saw it earlier when it was pristine. I should have taken it then, but that looks pretty good as well. We're just missing the crispy skin. Unfortunately, I think that's the best part, but uh, it is so succulent here. That's not a bad second choice, but I can see this is nice and uh, soft on the rice. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, okay, so uh, deep fried or fried pork belly. All right. Okay, and this, I'm not sure what it is. If you know what that is, let me know. Okay, and we're coming up to the street food now. Barbecue chicken wings. I think I will go for a little bit of pork barbecue. Right over here. Oh, I think I'm definitely fading. But uh, this is round three, not too bad, aside from this uh, big massive plate of chicken feet. And I think you can only get it by the plate. And I can't wait to give this a try. This is the pork shell mai. And uh, one of the things is that roe looks super fantastic. Let's give that a taste. Mm. A lot of crunch and pops from the roe. And the pork is nice and succulent with a bit of fat in there. Really nice. Mm. Gotta try that lechon with a little bit of sauce. Just missing the skin, but that's okay. There's more. I was asking uh, the gentleman when more is coming out and he said soon. So let's give this a try for now. Okay, and we have a straggler here. Mm. Very good. Nice and tender, perfect texture. Melt in your mouth with a bit of a chew. And I can't imagine how it would taste with that skin, but next time. Mm. So, I think I'm gonna finish this up here. And uh, the pan seat looks really good. So does the barbecue pork, but I think that plate of chicken feet 
uh, that's going to be a challenge. One or two chicken feet is fine, but a full plate full. All right, so uh, a lot of work to do, but uh, I'll take it back, hopefully once it's done. Round three was a bit of a failure. Uh, everything was really good, but that plate of chicken feet really did me in. I did not expect the whole plate, but really good. And the crab and the rice with that coconut curry gravy was superb. And now we're about to head to the dessert station and I can't wait. This wonderful round sphere of chocolate and sweet desserts. It's a wonderful never ending ring of uh, sweet goodness. So I'm gonna be in a little bit of trouble here because I generally like all the desserts and I wanna try them all. But first, we need a big plate and empty glasses and full glasses in preparation for the classic halo halo. And then I see some ice cream. So that's definitely not all because uh, yet another station. So some traditional Filipino dessert I remember having that. That is a sticky rice, really nice and uh, subtly sweet. Coconut, uh, coconut dessert and churros. And this is a wonderful, uh, this is Filipino dessert, no? Yes. Oh. You say that really well. Yeah, of course, I'm a Filipino. Okay. Beautiful. And moving on, we have, ah, wonderful greasy sesame balls. Greasiness in the best possible way. And some, uh, and some coconut mochi. Oh my goodness, it never ends. Chocolate lava cake. All right, I'm really getting tired. Oh, lollipops. The classic, the chocolate, and the caramel. And more lollipops. White chocolate, green chocolate, Oreo shards, and uh, kind of a strudel of chocolate. And where the strudel is probably coming from the chocolate fountain. So I'm gonna get busy preparing my plate. Let me show you what I have. That was a bit of an exhausting dessert round, but uh, exhausting in the best possible way. And it's always nice to come back to your table to find more food. This is the lechon and I think uh, I was asking if uh, they had more coming out and they were kind enough to leave a few pieces. But I can honestly say they're killing me with kindness. But let's give it a try. All right, a nice skin here. Okay, here we go. Mm. Nice crispy crackle, kind of shatteringly crisp with a bit of fat underneath. Mm. Very nice, a little bit of wine. Mm. And this dessert station is really something else. So many to choose from. I think I'm going to be in trouble. I did not need that lechon so late. This was a plate prepared, lots of nice uh, small desserts. And now we've got some bigger ones and uh, some chocolate shards and uh, really nice uh, cups of something. Really hard to decide which one to choose, but I think that chocolate coffee almond dessert looks really nice. And I'm gonna take it with my hands. Cheers to first so many. Mm. Oh. Okay, this one is really nice chocolate mousse and uh, filling inside pralines, lots of crunch, lots of textures. Very nice. Mm. A nice two bite dessert, but that ube cake is looking pretty intriguing. Let's see if we can somehow get at it in the center of the plate. All right, here we go. Mm. Absolutely delicious. And ube mousse, not too sweet. Very creamy, flavorful, and a nice soft sponge. Mm. Again, a two bite dessert. And that pistachio mousse hiding behind the strawberry square is definitely worth a try. Oh boy. 
Oh, and I think we can see there's a nice filling and a flower that's tagged along. Very nice and definitely need a cup of coffee. Mm. Much needed after all those rich and uh, decadent desserts. And maybe something light like this mango orange panna cotta. Let's give that a try. That looks so good. Oh, nice and soft. Cheers. Mm. Perfect way to end the evening with wonderful desserts. And I'll continue finishing up these desserts. Lots to choose from, lots of choices and good choices. So this is the Okada Manila Medley Buffet in the casino. Really nice. First night in Manila, beautiful, brings back lots of memories and it gets even better and better. Thank you so much for joining. And if you know of any good places in the Philippines, Manila or other places that I should visit, please let me know. Again, uh, really nice and uh, looking forward to connecting with friends. I'm definitely very happy that we can connect together. So until we see each other again, I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're eating well. God bless. Uh, take care of each other and uh, cheers to you. Oh, really nice.